open up the playpen. Ha 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 ha! We took out the baby maker and opened up the playpen. Yeah. Sweetie! <laughs> <laughs> Hey kids, one beautiful mom over there. She looks really young. She might even be the mom. She might be the mom's other child. Beautiful lady though, beautiful girl. So here's what we're looking. Back to him. I didn't do anything to him. I know, but the language. Anytime, boy. Anytime. 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 Hey, it takes a bigger man to walk away. He's got his camera off. It's a bigger man to walk away. Kyle, kind of weird you want to fuck a 25 year old. What's your mouth? Come the fuck on, motherfucker! Sir, go on, please. Please, Dad, come on, let's go. I'm not going anywhere. Come on, Dad, come on. You come to my show? You run your goddamn cocksucker? Yeah, you, motherfucker! Please, Dad. Come on, Dad. There's been dead heat. Come on, Dad. 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 We've had somebody take parts off of it since it's been sitting there. Oh, yeah, uh, they better be watching it. I catch anybody out here, I'm gonna shoot them. He just bought a grill, and I, I think the grill. <laughs> I couldn't stand the stink in there if I went in his lob or his apartment, you know what I mean? Them guys are nasty, you know that, right? And black people don't take a bath. Oh my god. They got these they get these what they call ring worms in their head. Oh my god. And the talk about lice. Oh my god. And the women are just as bad. Oh god no. I was like, who to? Oh. They stink that bad. Oh. And their clothes are probably all just ugh, you know? Oh. Yeah, I had one of them. Look at that great car. Now they painstakingly put this guy. Can, can you tell? Yeah. yeah. I want to point. I want to point this out. I'm glad Dad mentioned it. I'm not picking on Ryan. Ryan, get off Risperdal, dude. What? Listen, whatever psych meds you're on is buddy, giving you girl you boobs. You have to get off him, dude. It's giving you gynomasculia. Look it up. You're gonna have. Listen, you're gonna. Have a, you're gonna be stacked. I mean, you love your kid, Barry. Then you need to put a stop to that shit, dude. Since he listens to you. Tell him, help him. Listen, Austin was on fucking Risperdal, dude. That's and, why I remember. And, and his cousin was. Well, his cousin kept taking the shit. We took Austin off because we heard about that shit. His cousin has fucking female tits. So much so when he was like 15, whenever he would hold somebody's baby, the baby would try to suck on his fucking on his shit because it gave him gynamastia in a bad way. I mean. We're not talking about fat man boobs, guys. We're talking about... You perky, know what God and perky titties. Is. I mean... And like I said, the kid was 15 or 16 at the time. So it was like a 15 or 16... You know what I mean? Not that I ever want to be thinking that. But you get what I'm getting at, right? I mean... I mean, I feel so bad for this fucking kid, dude. I mean... 
And they just they dropped the ball with him, dude. Get off first for all, man. And if you're not on Risperdal, man, then you better go talk what? to the doctor. Get on Seroquel, man. Because listen, man, it, it, Massey, it just don't affect your body. It starts affecting your mind once your hormones start getting all fucked up. Mm -hmm. It starts affecting the way you think, the way you feel. I mean, fuck, get on fucking Seroquel. I mean, I mean, Seroquel, psychotic. Seroquel put weight on you, though, man. I mean, mm -hmm. I, I would rather be, shit. I would rather be fat as fuck like oh, I am no, now 100%. than to have. Fucking triple Listen, D titties. Man, Austin used to be small and skinny as fuck. I mean, but but Sarah Quill put, puts weight on you, man. But I'm slowly winning that down. Yeah, I mean, unlike he used Barry, to be tall and sleeky, man. He used to, he used to walk around my store, but never caught him going to eat because he'd walk around and shit the fucking M and M all the time. But uh, none of y'all would guess that shit now, would you? I mean, the I'm good M and M before he turned into kind of a trashy rapper. You, if I was your dad, I'd be like, hey, but we need to get to the doctor and see what kind of shock meds you're on. Or maybe, maybe you ain't on them no more, but there's things that can do to help that situation now, buddy. I mean, if you're off the shit, I mean. I'm not picking on Ryan. I'm trying to help him. Yeah, I mean. Because it's obvious Barry ain't going to help him. Listen, the kid's got a rough enough life, man. Watching I mean, your garage. We appreciate you watching. We appreciate you going back. They should have yeah, never let that shit. If it was from the kid's shit, the they should have never let that shit happen. Look, Barry has set this kid to fail. This kid is get my dad's age. If it wasn't for Barry, chances are Ryan would done be married and have a family of his own. But you can't do that when you're taking care of your fucking piece of shit two-year-old dad. No, because no, the ex-old ladies engaged. engaged to get married, so they're not going to be getting back together unless she's engaged to Ryan and nobody knows about it. But I can't see that. She's a runner, you said. I mean, I guarantee Barry's in Ryan's ear because Ryan will go here and stay for a couple days. And Barry, you've seen the video. What's going on? You're going to go with us. Because this is my friend Richard Loveall's move of it. Love it. You don't even know the dude's name. The dude has to tell him his name. But these are friends. I don't, know, I don't know about how y'all's friends' relationship works, but I know my buddy's last name. He's not crazy, dude. That's my point, guys. I mean, just because you bust up somebody, somebody or you talk to somebody a couple times, if you think they're your friend, you are setting yourself up to fail. Hey, Richard, how much of that air filter? Lucky, North Barry. Because it's already a conversation. Barry don't give two shits. He just tell up anybody. I mean. Oh, it's pushing the base. No, it's not. It's over yonder. We got 75 bucks for that tank. It's a brand new fucking tank. I was like, yeah, we got an air cleaner. I would be looking at the maxless. What year does it say on that shit? It's OBS. So, 89 to like... I'd take that, right? I can use my truck. 89 to like 99, 98, something like that. 89. The pump and run, man. Oh, no. You are not going to find cheaper no. prices on parts than you will here. I'm wrong. OBS is 88. To, I think 98. Kind of rusty. Kind of rough. How much? 10 bucks, huh? 10 bucks. 10 bucks, son. Yeah, it's a little rough. Then why do you want it? Got some rust on it. Yeah, it's not. I'm surprised Barry didn't say I'll give you $2 and a stick of juice fruit. Or all ladies won't care. I'll give you a half a lucky strike and a slow tug. change for 20? Yeah, sure he does. He's a businessman. You're talking about Richard. Is your last name Lovett? I'll give you, I'll give you him. He in here. He acts like he knows that I sure you do. Sure he does. This is Richard. Yes, sir. What's your last name again, buddy? Does that... Does this interaction make you feel anything like they're close no, friends? Are they putting up? Are they, uh, how you been? What's up? How you been doing? What you been doing? No. None of these, inter none of these interactions are warm and friendly. Yeah, we're just down here showing the, the parts and, and we bought another air cleaner from our friend Richard down. This is just some of the stuff he's got in this booth. Watch it, Joe. Three wheeler. Here you go, son. New tree wheeler. Put a basket on and to see I was looking at the A-Track stuff you got too, man. I'm into A-Track. Fuel cell. Yeah, I like the test fuel cell. Oh, you know, Barry bought that or had Ryan buy that. Yeah, that's a nice fuel cell. Dad'd be all over that fucking grinder sitting there. I'll be over with this hood store. Look at that shit. Man. I wonder if it's a real answer. <laughs> Chill out, Barry. No, man, that shit's cool as fuck, man. Like, How you guys doing? You got a YouTube channel called Beaver and Sun on my shirt, on my hat. Who the fuck walks up to a booth and goes, We're Beamer's son's garage, da 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 da, when they don't ask? 
Finally said, hey, what's on your shirt? What's your shirt say? I didn't film you guys, so you, you don't get mad at me. Ooh, look at that. You said, I didn't film you guys, but you just seen it. Yeah, ooh, ooh, exactly. Who, who we know like the Coca-Cola? Oh, oh, he don't get it either. Ha, ha, ha. Is that 17 inch? Your brother? It sure is. Have to be somewhat like that. Oh, it's only a five word though. Hey Barry, that's an 18. who else would like that really nice brick house? Oh, oh, you didn't get it. Oh. And there's a lot of guys that aren't even set up because it's Friday, and most people are on the job working. Yeah. Hey Barry, who else would like that club cadet? Oh, oh, you didn't get it. What do you got? 25, 65, 16s. Who else would like them fucking lamps? Oh, oh, you didn't get it. Yeah. Who had to write a seven hundred forty dollar check to their brother? Oh, oh, you did. You did. Here we go. Ford, Ford stuff, Pontiac, hubcaps, Ford taillights, some Dodge stuff, Chevy stuff. He's got mix everything. Now listen. I Corvette, Corvette rallies. They always say they're Corvette and they're not. I like you, huh? That's first time down, guys. We've already walked this one, so we're just going back over to... Man, I got the popo here. A man. A man with the wrong plan for me. <laughs> Stay away from him. We just bought this guy's uh, Kia of good riches he had. And they were worth it, right? <laughs> That's what... We bought those tires. They're in the truck already. This guy over here... This guy here's got some remanufactured. Looks like you uh, can't afford them. Some Muncie's, Muncie's, M22, 22, Ford Warner, 210, Super 210. Can you imagine when Barry walks up to a booth? Can you imagine if they didn't see Barry's dirty ass walk up to a booth? They, uh, people that said they just want him away from the booth because he's loud, he stinks, and he, he, he scares away other customers not to worry about. So most people just agree with you. Whatever he says, cool, cool, we'll get out of here. Unless it's something big. Yeah, they don't want to give him the fucking park. You don't want fucking booth. Yeah, you don't want somebody that's loud mouth that's going to cause trouble in your booth. You don't, you don't know how to talk in public, so that means you don't watch his language. You know what I mean? Like, he wasn't supposed to like this. You shouldn't be out there. Fuck this, fuck me, cut, and all that no. shit. If you're out in public, you should act like you got some especially if there's going to be little kids around. No, I Time and a place. I'm not saying you can't cut us, I'm just saying. Chevy, Chevy, Chevy. Yeah, like hey, Barry, got any of those on your cars? Chevy. I'm saying, I'll try I got a set of those, Barry, for Dad's car. I got some rear tube that's throwing. Uh -huh. Christine all the way. Broke bitches here. I don't know. This is my buddy's booth. This is the guy with about the aluminum wheel from. Uh-huh. I think that's it, is it? No. That's over there. I'm not there. Yeah, this is... Surprise, Barry. Didn't buy a bicycle. No, we're not Tommy's booth. Oh, here's these bench seats, son. Oh, well, Barry's coming. I hear ice cream music. Slightly used. And been, and been abused. Yeah. I do. Better than what you got. Can you There's imagine here in a minute when Ryan goes back to the car? It's still a little rougher. And if somebody wants to put... Can you yeah, imagine how it would look to Barry running towards him with his bold legs? Yeah, it's your seat. It would look like the fucking penguin walling towards you. Right. From Batman. He needs a top hat and a fucking monocle. I like it. And just these little reupholstered. Is that the slide on it? Yeah, it does. It's junk. It does. And this is a lot of shit. Parks on the ground and down and pick up what you want. Barry, I don't know half of that shit he's looking at where it fits. Thought you didn't film people, Barry. Did they get consent to be on your video? <laughs> Here we go. You're allowed to sell anything to do with a car. Listen to this. So anything to do with the car. Or car items. Hey, Barry. Maybe you buy a model. Maybe you'll complete that one. He knows what to do. 
Here's the front of the we're looking to silo. Not going to bark and dog again. Oh, well, that's what that concert sit on the Green Mock used to look like before it got all busted up. If nobody cares about them. And you're not talking, you're talking about a fucking Grand Am console. Well, they go for 20 bucks. You have to find, and something Barry don't do, like me when I, because I sell Facebook a lot, I find groups that are designated to the parts I'm trying to sell. That's how you reach your target audience. You don't just post shit on Facebook and wonder why you don't sell shit. So I'm selling uh, Chevy Nova Fender. Then I try to find Nova groups to put it in. Barry don't know how to work that shit. He wanted seven hundred dollars for a '90s Malibu with frame rust, brake line. Couldn't even spell the ad correctly. The car's junk. It don't even bring that junk in it. And that hence why Barry still has it. Barry, you couldn't afford an eight and three quarter for an early A body. Or an A body at all. It's real great. Oh, I thought I had to be car parts, Barry. I see phones. He's so full of shit. Let me just talk about how she's so smart. Barry, they're just painted Valkyrie with a sticker on it. They're stock valve covers. Yeah. Hey Ryan, there's your old bike. I hear you like it. He bikes because that collection was all yours. I guess it took up one side of your grandparents' basement. <laughs> hey Barry, what's that old starter fit? Bet you can't tell me that one. You probably know how to fucking put one of them on. <laughs> Call me. Call Something your dad's gonna do, drop a dime on somebody? OBS tail lights. This is gonna be awesome. To go and I've never been someplace with a price. I gave it to him so he could hold well, it. Well, listen. I got a drink listen, folks. Hand, this is what Barry says. I got you guys in the other side. So. We'll post something out. Yeah, my boy. Yeah, you know, I'm going to watch. We should play another message with my boy. And uh, make you guys watch with me. <laughs> That's my boy. Why? Why would you do that? You must have been I'll hit you with the truck. <laughs> I'm starting the car when I over here with the car. You mess with him. Yeah, I'm gonna pause this. It's a shovel and a broom. Now, Barry, you're a tough guy. You're a fighter, right? You whoop everybody's ass. So why do you need a vehicle? Why do you need, oh, uh, basically a bullet on wheels? Why? You're a tough guy. You should go knock him out. You know, with your fucking Papa Smurf having ass. There, rapey the troll. I mean, you you do rise. If somebody's a fuck with Ryan, all you do is get him while that truck lids up. How you gonna see it? And, and one more thing. Can you imagine what this, like I was just telling that a minute ago, I know you guys heard. Can you imagine what he would look like running towards you? With his bow legged fucking ass. He would look like, the, I don't know how many you guys have seen. Can't remember which Batman movie. It's the 90s Batman movie. With the penguin in it. Picture that penguin. And picture him running towards you. It would be fucking just like that. You'd want to hold up a fish and have him eat it. All you need is a top hat and a fucking monocle. You fucking troll. Seriously, all you're gonna do is get around with that truck that's up. How you gonna see him? What about your daughters, Barry? Like I said in the video, guys. Whoever Barry hurts, let's say somebody kicks Ryan's ass. Barry kills him. 
Barry goes well, to truck prison. Was everything else, that truck the person that beat truck. Ryan up and Barry killed. That's what's truck. Ryan going to do when that oh, yeah, person Barry killed's loved ones or affiliations or affiliates single Ryan out and make his life really, really rough for a really long time? There's going to be no other there protecting him. I mean, if Barry just wouldn't have done what he done, he could be out to protect the kid, but he's an idiot. We watch him. I don't know how he's made it 61 years. Door. Some kind of frame there. I don't know what it is. Oh, Everybody walks, walks along. Like this when Some kids, of us have a tractor like that people in the shadows. People in the shadows. You sure do. Brother, people we don't talk about, we don't disclose. There's certain things that real people can't talk about. We're not supposed to talk about. <laughs> Listen, not everybody needs to disclose who they fuck with. Right, right. And the people that do, chances are they don't have any. The people with thousands of friends, chances are. Who I know, who else know, who loves that, who loves me. This is like Marconi. They say, nobody's fucking business who they know what they look like. I mean. Not really Listen, really the people like Barry that say they have thousands of friends, chances are they don't have one good solid friend. No, I only got yeah, three. That's not, a, I mean, that's not the real deal. It's the holy deal. He's Look, He's why are you touching this man's car? Why are you touching this man's car, Barry? That pisses me off. That right there bugs me. You don't walk up to somebody's car and start touching it. That's how you get your fucking hand broke. I have a fucking cousin that does this shit down at the drag strip. Wanna walk up and, and start opening people's doors and shit. It's not okay. So you keep your hands down your fucking back. Don't walk up like it's your fucking car and you own it. $20. But you just spent Money ten dude, like a Come on, Barry. You <laughs> offering ten dollars <laughs> and But you just spent ten dollars on one of those that the crown wasn't even shiny. And Barry, you wouldn't like buying car parts off me because I tell you before you get here what the price is. You can come here and be like, I travel three hours, not my problem. Price is the price. Now Barry's gonna pan on his girl for a minute. See how I like stops on her for a minute? Fucking nasty motherfucker. Hence why your daughter's not nothing to do with you. Because you're a fucking perv. You know what these are? Z bars. Those are four speed parts, equalizers. Z bars. Only four speed, huh, Barry? Now that wouldn't be using a truck for three speed or anything. I got to get with it. Just four speed cars. You said some good shit. Well, by that logic, then my dart was really ran into it. I mean, three speed on the column, and it, it had. Yeah. Now look, Barry walks past the, the American Torque Thrust. Now look what he goes and looks at. Now look what he goes and looks at. Yeah, I think he walks back there. The camera is this video. There we go. Back in secondary, single pump. It's the other video. The other, the other video shows them rims and he walks right to the center lines behind it. Not the decent rims. Yeah. Coils, throttle cables, RPC gauges. It's all RPC. RPC makes oil pans. Everything else they make, any aftermarket part you can think of. Coolant bands and relays and stuff for that. And they make quality stuff in my what first What you do over that section, but you ain't got the brains to work that shit up. You, you, you can't just hurt the car with that shit. Losing our asses. Mama said, life's like a box of chocolates. You be buried and you get the shitty fucking Dollar General chocolate. Why don't you go anymore, Barry? This is a good song. Okay. 
See, get that couple of them for the weekends out. See what I mean, folks? I mean, you lay down. Lay down the driveway. What the fuck kind of man starts just buying shit all the time? I mean, why would you take any money from him? I got some bad news. Listen. Sorry about that. That crap. That what do you mean by that, Barry? Barry, that's what's fucked up. You grew up in that area. You should know that that was Jackson 5. You should know that. I mean, you're from that area. I mean, you're an idiot. I can get down with it. Oh, we're in the great Johnny Parsons booth. And there's a great Johnny Parsons. Great friend, but look how they act. What's up, Johnny? Hey! Leave it to Barry to try to chase down the dollar. Hey, it's closely when Barry walks away from his booth, what Barry says. And that's all I'm going to say now. Really good. Let's get it, son. Get it quick. Quick before you can reel it in. Oh! He does got some cool shit. Don't do it, Aaron. Yeah, he's a nice guy. Make it a video now and show him my friend, you know? That's from the movie. I really like that Mach 1 scoop, man. I hope you still got that. I'm going to probably get that from you Monday. I need this, uh, I need this wiring sockets in it uh, for the Mach 1 hook scoop that the dude uh, turns it made into it. Listen. <laughs> Stop on it. Break the line is what hey. If I catch this, my dollar. That's the way it says. <laughs> He's a great guy. Yeah, we're getting along pretty good right now. I'm pretty happy with uh, Mr. Barsons. Yeah. Oh, Chevy 2. Deuce. Well, the story is Barry's not a very well-liked person. And I'm not speaking for this man. I'm not saying this man don't like Barry. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying... I'm saying Barry will have one friend that's there ready for me. And loyalty ain't very strong, Sue. Yeah. There's a lot to this, to that story. Right? So I'm not yeah. Now watch this. Watch how Barry puts the fuck camera in this guy's face. To you? Yeah, to me. $20. $20, huh? Thank you, wait till you bring me the money tomorrow. Oh, boy. John, did you hear that? Roll that out to the car. Verify, never buy the money. I'm broke. You can buy that twenty dollars. You do that. Roll that out to the car. It's all you have, but you want to call me a broke bitch? I don't want to swap me without, you know, well, at least you know, right two hundred bucks in my pocket. <laughs> Ain't hard to find, you know. How much is that five dollar hat? Uh, this was twenty. <laughs> <laughs> I like that guy. I like him. You can tell he don't like birds. Well, he don't look at birds. I like it. How much is that $5? Yeah, we did too. Yeah, need a trailer wheel. Got a four-load trailer wheel. Got everything done. $5. $5, man. That's a mark in there. I like the Nova family. It's good. I sold them all. This is them one old. Wow. Right, just gotta, gotta, gotta come back and pick it up, huh? Yeah, how about them big block headers right there? Oh, well, they fit. Big block Chevrolet. Big, Chevrolet yeah. You can't look at the fucking flange that's called the big block Chevrolet. You are a fucking joke, bitch. Barely used, huh? I like it. I could have left it to the mile away in the big block Chevrolet. Take both of them, you bring me 30 tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm they work? Get him out of there. Typical horror. You got bonds, you didn't plan to use them or anything like that. Listen. They sure do. Which I would have bought them both. I would have bought them for five bucks too. I'm not saying I wouldn't. Hey, maybe you'll find something lower down there. I'll take them too. I'm probably going to talk to the guy about them because I never know about them. I don't know what you don't like about the moves and shit. I don't know if you want to put prices on This one was like my grandfather's. That's the reason I wanted it, because it reminds me of it. A lot of times I don't even go ask about a price. No, I got two. You got the twin. Yep. I got one just like it, like on my grandpa. On my mother's side. I had a cattle guard. Cattle. Really? Oh, yeah, I see that. What's that for? 
I think it's all about S10 or something. Yeah. Figures I don't have an S10. I wish I, now I wish I had an S10 because that would be the grill bar for it. I got 50 bucks on my last one. All right, guys, we're going to hit this right here in this booth. We've got a rim and some money. It was rough. It would have been on a buddy of mine's and, Ranger. Um, Made in the USA too, 14 inch. Yeah, that's cool. Shame, I'll never see you. That's, what's that race seat that you got? I gotta go get some money in my G. I gotta go home and get some money. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. What kind of idiot goes to a swap meet with no on. cash on it? A Dale Earnhardt chair. Still on her race seat. I, his prices are right. I mean, 30 bucks are best off for that seat. Deal. How much come back and get that? I'm sure there's money to be made. Oh, guys, we're going to hit it right here in our monkey rich. We bought a line just carried a few rally off. He's putting out more. So, hey, you know, it's on monkey rich. Pipe rich. Monkey rich is on adjustable rich, at least from my understanding. So, if I'm wrong, I apologize. Fuck you, Barry. Leave them kids alone. And uh, remember, four minutes speech shop forever, the rest never. Check out our friends Mako, Fast Thing, Lipstick Garage, Still Scrapper Kingdom. And one more thing before I go. What I like to do is when I go to swap meets is if I'm not buying parts for me. If I can find a good deal like that, that seat, I'm sure it's money made on that fucking racing seat. Right. Somebody like Barry. I mean, so I build a car like that. If I can pick up something for a good deal and I know I can make money on it, that's what you look for when you go to these events. Because some people just want the shit out of their way and you can take it home. Put the, it last day, the last day is usually the best day. Not to find... Because all the other shit's already sold, but usually on the last day, people don't want to box it back up and take it home. So you get your, the better deals on the last day. Usually. That's just common sense. That's any kind of sale, free market, whatever. I just want to sh shout out, uh, y'all go check out Still Strapper Kingdom. I say that right? Yeah. He just painted a Camaro, man. And, 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 and listen to me. When I say he painted a Camaro, this man didn't do this in a paint booth, folks. He, he didn't have a bunch of fluorescent lights on the walls and ceilings and shit. This man knocked this paint job out of the park, man. I mean, I wish he was closer to me. Because I, I, if he wanted, I'd hire him to paint and shit. But anyway, go check out his Camaro, man. I mean, he painted this fucking thing. It looks good. You give us some support on that. I mean, if yeah. you feel like it. If you don't, I understand too. But. It's a V8. Uh, I don't know, man. It's a three speed, a four speed. Drop down below what it is. Um, it's a manual. Car, yeah. Man. I mean, and that's rare enough. But he, he did jet running right now. He needs a couple parts for it. But he's painted this car in a contaminated shop. Like, like, a, like a garage. Like a, anybody's garage. Yeah. He, my point with this is. Mary asked those guys from find a fucking special place. You don't, man. You can do this shit at home in your garage, guys. I have seen people, dude, paint fucking shit. I seen a guy paint it over one time. Outside in front of a dirt floor garage, man. And all he did is spray the ground down with water and uh, painted this snow, but and it was red too, just like well, what about it. and it turned out beautiful, man. I mean beautiful. Well, what it was about, painted outside. What about painted. Uncle Charlie's Corvette that you watched him paint? He didn't have no fucking yeah, decent shop. Charlie was I mean, yeah, had a lot of metal flake in what you tell me, but my point is, he slowed down a paint job. He's did it out can of black. His, I, th I feel like Steel Strapper's paint job is every bit as good as any body shop paint job, yeah. is what I'm yeah. saying. I would compare it to any... Now, is it a candy paint job that... Like, no, but... He did it in a shop like that. He did a job that you could get at... Uh, Shop shop. You know what it's saying? a driver quality paint job. Yeah, it's a nice paint job. It, it's gonna, and I don't think he's cut it and buffed it or anything no. yet. If it, I mean, if it looks that good now, if the man cuts it and buffs it, can See, you imagine what's on the way? I watched a show on Motor Trend called Iron Resurrection. This is name's, uh, I can't remember, it's Martin's. But he said something that I've always stuck in my head when you paint something. If in your shop lights, your, your fluorescent shop lights, if the paint looks shitty, then when you take it outside in the daylight, it's going to look horrible. You, and, know, you know you have a straight paint job on a car, especially when it has a gloss like the red one, like his Camaro. When, when he shows you the side of the car in this video, you can make out the light shape. You know, you can make out a square light, round light, whatever. It don't look like just a, a light, like a, a line. You can take make plain as day that it's a light bulb or a shop light. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, for, if you have fluorescent lights on your wall and you had a shitty paint job, if the fluorescent light bars are going to look wavy yeah. and shit like that. If it looks like a straight light bar and it glows, that paint that paint is nice. Now, does that mean yeah. it might not have dirt? And, but You can work with that. You can work with it. my dark paint job... Especially makes clear. Now, if it's a one... If it's, if it's one my dark gun, paint job yeah. turns out like that, I'll be happy. Right. But 
the saying is that that Martin guy said, um, Joe Martin said, was if in your shop lights it looks horrible, then in sunlight it's going to look horrible. If it looks good in a shop light, then in the sunlight it's going to look good. And I've kind of always kept that in the back of my mind when I paint something. It looks good under my regular garage lights, so when I get out in the sun, it's going to look good. Like that fucking Kaiser that we cleared. And I don't know, uh, it's, it's, it's still Scrapper, he, he's he's at least my age, ain't he? Yeah, I think so. I don't know how, I know he's not no spring chicken, I do know that. I mean, so, my point with that is, you can do this shit, man. I mean, it don't matter what age you are, it don't matter any of that. You just have to have the will and the knowledge to do it. I'm like, Barry, I'm like, you can't do nothing because he's old and got problems. He's feeble. He's worthless, man. He can't do it. He couldn't have laid. He couldn't have done half that paint job. That he, after it was cutting up, it wouldn't look like that. You know what I mean, I'm curious to see it outside after he cuts it. And buffs it if he cuts, it, and he, from what I see, he don't need to cut it and buff it. Yeah, but I would anyway. So go check out Still Scrapper Kingdom. Go check out Mako. Go check out Fast Thing. Go check out Lipstick Garage. We'll see you guys tomorrow night. Fuck you, Barry. Leave them kids alone.